Well, Jeff Bezos has finally done it. Blue Origin will be taking NASA astronauts to the lunar surface as NASA awards them the second human landing system contract. Let's dive into everything just announced. Well, welcome to the launch pad. My name is Zach, and it's an exciting day in space history as for the first time ever, we have two contracted commercial human lunar landers. NASA has selected Blue Origin's new version of Blue Moon with the national team for their second human landing system contract, which will play a crucial role in NASA's Artemis V mission and the Artemis program. Today, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson announced that Blue Origin has been awarded a contract worth $3.4 billion to design, develop, test, and verify the Blue Moon lander. NASA made the decision to award Blue Origin on April 10, 2023, without conducting discussions or negotiations for the second HLS contract. This decision was made based on their assessment that Blue Origin's proposal was the most advantageous to NASA across all evaluation factors and aligned with the objectives set out by NASA. As part of the contract, Blue Origin is expected to conduct a crew demonstration mission in 2028, but we'll dive into that in a little bit. This collaboration marks a significant milestone in the commercial and international collaborations marking this new era in commercial spaceflight. Dynetics also submitted a bid, but NASA said that their lunar lander did not account for the Appendix B cargo or the new NASA X EVA spacesuits and that further revisions would be required, which could result in cost and schedule impacts. Blue Moon is a joint bid led by Blue Origin in collaboration with Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Draper, Astrobotic, and Honeybee Robotics. Their joint bid meets NASA's requirements for a sustainable human landing system, facilitating recurring astronaut expeditions to the lunar surface and enabling docking to the Lunar Gateway Space Station. Blue Origin plans to fund and execute two Pathfinder missions, one next year in 2024 and the other in 2025, to land Blue Moon on the moon to mature several critical low TRL technologies over three years in advance of the required sustaining lunar lander development uncrewed demonstration mission for NASA. Following this uncrewed demonstration mission for Blue Moon, they will then be part of Artemis V, landing a crew on the moon. This mission is expected to take place in 2029, but as always, this date could slip. Artemis V will see four astronauts launch aboard an Orion spacecraft using NASA's Space Launch System rocket. Upon docking to the Lunar Gateway Station, two astronauts will transfer to Blue Origin National Team's Blue Moon Lander for a week-long journey to the Moon's South Pole. During this mission, the astronauts will engage in scientific research and exploration activities. This demonstration will serve as an important step in NASA's lunar exploration plans, establishing foundational systems to support complex missions in lunar orbit and on the surface. Blue Moon will provide NASA a reliable and efficient transportation system for lunar missions and Blue Origin has stated they are thrilled to be working alongside NASA and their national team partners to pave a way for a sustainable presence on the moon and eventually that journey to Mars. Now, some of you might be wondering, what about SpaceX's Lunar Starship? SpaceX is busy working with NASA on HLS. We saw the IFT flight just a few weeks ago, and we expect to have an update on Lunar Starship from SpaceX later this year once they have a successful IFT flight. NASA awarded SpaceX its first human landing system contract in April 2021. We saw a number of lawsuits between Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos, NASA, and SpaceX, but NASA has been busy working with SpaceX ever since that lawsuit was settled. NASA then exercised an option to modify SpaceX's HLS contract so that SpaceX can then modify their plans to meet the agency's new requirements for a sustainable lunar lander. This also will add a second demonstration mission to the SpaceX contract. Lisa Watson Morgan, the Human Landing System Program Manager at NASA, shared that having two distinct lunar lander designs with different approaches ensures robustness, drives innovation, and brings down costs. It also invests in commercial capabilities, fostering a lunar economy and business opportunities for other customers. Under the Artemis program, NASA and its global partners are taking the world to the moon, but this time we're going together and we're going to stay, and this lays a foundation for us to prepare to go to Mars.
Here at the Launchpad, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together. So make sure you engage that subscribe button so you never miss another launch live right here on TLP. Our space news updates and our exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews and join being part of an awesome space community. From our new TLP Space Coast studio, my name's Zach and we'll see you next time.